over 150 miles long and marched through within about four hours or so through the first coast as quickly as 50 to 60 miles an hour. We're going to pause it at about 1220. I'm going to zoom right on into downtown Jacksonville. This is what the radar looked like at about 1220 this afternoon when the Strong thunderstorms came marching into downtown. Here's what it looked like from the view out the window of the cold air come rushing in. The clouds thickening up, things starting to get dark, the wind picking up, and we're going to pause it right here at about 1220. Notice how things started to stir up a little bit. The screen gets blurry. The rain becomes a little bit blinding. That is what we call the gust front, and the gust front is what produced so much damage today. That's what it looked like out the window. This is what it looked like meteorologically speaking if we dissect a thunderstorm. Today was so warm, right? We had so much warm air around and all that air started to rise up at about 50,000 feet. So much air was essentially being separated. We call that divergence and that air needed to be replaced. Replaced with what? The warm air rising, the updraft. And as that air gets up to about 50,000 feet like it did today, it's got to cool down because up there it is very cold and what goes up must come down. So that cold air comes rushing down on the leading edge of the thunderstorm. We call that the cold downdraft. And when that heavier air comes rushing down, it produces wind gusts upwards of 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. And that is what we call a gust front ahead of the thunderstorm and what produced so much damage all across the first coast through the day today.